Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by a Protection team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress Gutenberg book tutorial for beginners. This is our partner 14. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss about edit and save method of register block. If I back to editor, in the last video, we had seen all about this title property, about description, category, icon, keywords and example. All these properties have the respective meanings. Now inside this video, we are going to add two more property as those properties are functions like edit and save. If I back to slide, go to next tab. So here is the documentation what we have discussed inside previous video. Now at last, we have edit as well as save function. So edit function prepares the layout of blog to editor. It means that edit function is responsible to create the layout of our blog what we are going to decide and present to our Gutenberg editor. By using this save function, simply save the blog content to the database. Let, let's suppose that we have a prepared a layout and by the help of that layout, we want to save our data to our database table so that we can render those contents to the front-end users. So save function is used to save the block content to our database. When registering a block, the edit and save functions provide the interface for how a block is going to be rendered within the editor how it will be operate and be manipulated and know how it will be saved. So by using these two functions, these are the most important two functions. By the help of that, it prepares the layout as well as we will save the data to our database table. So back to editor, let's add two functions here called edit and save. So putting a comma here and let's say edit this will be a function and inside this function we need to create the layout so let's say that if we want to create a layout so for simplicity we are going to just render a hello world message but we have to create an element so let's say that where el equal to element that is here which is a dependency of wp element so element dot let's say create element so by the help of this el so let's say that here return el and inside this we have to pass some values the first the tag we want to create so we want to create paragraph tag the second the relative attributes means what are the attributes we want to set to this paragraph tag so let's say currently we are not interested to set any attributes in the third we need to pass the message so let's say that right now inside this paragraph we want to write like any dummy message so it should be something hello world let's say this is my first blog to Gutenberg so this is all about the message Inside this el, we have passed this function. If I write a comment, so this will prepare a layout for editor. Now, if we save all these changes, save this file as well. So, if we back to our reload this page, go to posts, and remember. What is the name of the block we have specified as let's say WP first block or instead of that if we type let's say WP first block hyphen simply let's say hello world get rid of this WP from here so this is our block title if I and remember it is going to be appear inside this layout category so back here again reload this page click on add new click plus here and inside this layout we have now our first block that is hello world 
and inside this preview screen at right hand side we can see our title description and the preview screen and inside this preview screen all we have the message something hello world this is first block to Gutenberg inside this right hand sidebar we have a preview screen this is because we have used the example property if suppose we comment that save this change Control F5 to reload again pressing this plus icon go to layouts and here this is as we can see that no preview available instead of message no preview available it's because we have removed our example property so if I click on this first block now here this is the hello world this is my first block to Gutenberg as this is the message we have used inside edit function at right hand side as we can see that inside the sidebar we have our title and this is all about the description what we have passed this is the preparation of admin panel layout of this block if we go here and let's add uh, again a simple message that is this is from admin editor remember our edit function is used only to prepare the layout for the editor it will not going to save this data to our database table for saving data we need to use a save function again if I save this file back to browser reload this page and if I again click on this plus icon so once we used any block it will go inside this most used section most used is a section which contains about used blocks so if I click on that and here this is only for the preparation of this layout from admin editor again go here now if I remove this comment line let's add now next we have a save function inside this save function it is going to decide that what are the things that we are going to save our database so let's say that here we are going to save the simple data what we have here so this will be return el same let's say paragraph tag these are the attributes we have to pass and next while clicking on save button this is the message basically we want to save to our database so save this change and this is let's say not admin editor this is for front-end users so let's say front-end users now if we save this change we have now added as well as save function and here inside the save function save to database table back to editor reload this page and again if I click and if I remove this used block so let's say that again let's aim to put our first block as the post title and writing it here if we click on that remove this block click on this plus icon click here now this is all about the first box first block message click on publish button publish it now successfully we have saved our post and open into a new tab go here and as we can see that this is the message what we have written inside save function so what we understand we understood that this is a function which is used to prepare the layout for the editor and this is the function which is used to save the content to our database again to check this is our post ID which is 184 and again back to table and inside this table go to WP posts and inside this post I'm going to search all about with this post ID or if I make into descending order and we have post ID equal to 184 and here is the content 
Now if I copy all the contents, copy that back to slide, open a new tab, pasting it here. Now as we can see that this is the paragraph tag we have generated by using our EL variable. And what is EL? EL is not, it's element.createElement. So by the help of this EL tag, we have created a paragraph tag with empty properties for now and this is the message we have set in between paragraph tags. So back to slide and here we have something, this is the message what we have saved inside this paragraph tag and here as we can see that we have a class and remember this is the class not we have used inside any attributes. So question is that from where this class has been generated. Now to understand first go inside this comment section and this is WP colon automatically Guttenberg has added and this is our namespace what we have given for our blog. So something OWT hyphen blog my first blog. If we go here and check here this is all about the namespace or block name what we have given. Now this block name also appeared as a class name we can see here. This is all about prefix added by Gutenberg and this is all about the prefix. So if we get rid of that this is all about the namespace. So apart from forward slash it has added a hyphen symbol in between these words. So if I undo all these things and here we have called wp hyphen block as well. Now this is the content save function has saved inside our database. If I go to its front end and inspect this element, the same content we can see at the front end and here it is. So if we want to give some styling, simply we need to copy this class and we can specify this class to our style.css file which is responsible to giving CSS for our front-end layout. So about the styling of content at the layout of admin as well as at the front-end we will discuss in the next video. We will see that how can we separate CSS as well as how can we define our block level CSS writing it here and how can we attach with those classes. So inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment. I will give my plan as soon as possible. So for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day.